thank you so much for sticking around to watch the daily news wrap because we all know it's your favorite part. Let's go straight into it. Hello and welcome to the daily news wrap. Celebrity tattoo artist John Boy revealed that none other than the stunning supermodel Bella Hadid was his latest client to walk into the New York City-based tattoo parlor on Sunday and request her very own pair of angel wings. He revealed photos of Bella's ink, two dainty black and white wings tattooed on the inside of both of her ankles. John Boy also shared a photo alongside Gigi Hadid's little sister to commemorate the moment, who was dressed in a pair of chic leather pants, heeled boots, and a varsity jacket. As for the inspiration behind the wings, the real answer is actually a mystery. Late last year, Bella made her Victoria's Secret fashion show debut alongside Gigi and Kendall Jenner. When she booked the show, Bella shared a heartfelt message about finally realizing one of her oldest childhood dreams. Perhaps the tattoo is a tribute to that memory? But then there is also the possibility that Bella's tattoos have a little something to do with her breakup from The Weeknd. The longtime lovebirds went their separate ways in November, and she's feeling some type of way since the R&B singer was spotted getting cozy with Selena Gomez. She went out of her way to unfollow Selena on Instagram. Bella also posted a photo of herself giving the middle finger to the paparazzi. And now this tattoo? The whole Selena and The Weeknd ordeal is hilarious as well, simply because the whole world is talking about the photos of The Weeknd with Selena Gomez, standing in what seems to be a parking lot of sorts, and the photo clearly shows some type of a kiss. However, the photos that nobody is talking about is those that show The Weeknd wiping Selena's kiss off his face the second she turns around. Now that's pretty funny for a guy who spent his first two albums going on about his love for prostitutes. No shade intended, but if there was some shade, so be it. More details are arising from the Kim Kardashian case. A French journal published what seems to be a full transcript from the Keeping Up With The Kardashians show, where Kim gives a verbal statement of what happened to her. She had been in Paris for Fashion Week. According to the report, Kim told authorities that the robbery took place at 4.30 a.m. while she was wearing nothing but a bathrobe. She said that while her sister Kourtney Kardashian and her assistant changed clothes, she went to her computer upstairs and was working. She said that she then heard noises at the door, like footsteps, and asked who it was there. No one answered and she called her bodyguard just before 3 a.m. She then saw two people through the sliding door, including a man of the reception who was tied up. She said that the robbers were two hooded men wearing jackets that said police and that one of them wore a ski mask. She said he spoke to her in French, took her Blackberry and asked where her ring was, which cost $4 million. She told him she did not know, but then she pointed at the piece of jewelry, which was laying on a bedside table. After he withdrew a gun and pointed a weapon at her, Kim told police that he took the ring and asked her where he could find more jewelry or cash. According to the report, Kim told police the robbers had pushed her onto a bed and emptied her purse, which was lying next to a jewelry box that contained two diamond Cartier bracelets, a Lorraine Schwartz diamond necklace, diamond earrings, gold Jacob necklaces, a gold Rolex watch, and a diamond necklace that read Saint, which is the name of her and Kanye West's son, and other pieces. They tied her up with plastic cables and taped her mouth shut and used tape to bind her legs. They then carried her into the bathroom and put her into the tub. Kim also told police robbers did not take her cash, but did make off with her iPhone 6 and Blackberry. She said after they left running, she removed most of her constraints and ran to her friend's room, from which she called Courtney. She said she was not injured and would like to file a complaint. When asked if she had anything else to add, Kim reported that she would like to leave and return to her children in the United States, adding that she had a private plane waiting for her. Well, we do hope that this case continues to unravel itself so justice can be served. And that's all for today's Daily News Wrap.
Thank you so much for watching The Vibe, and I hope that you are able to ward off any evil eyes that come your way, yes. and that you learned a little bit about being environmentally conscious, especially when being a tourist, because it's so important. <laughs> Catch us tomorrow for another episode of The Vibe, and it's with our super special guest, Ooh, Serene, Serene Singh. Singh. You're addicted, like you care how much or what. I guess there are levels of what, addiction. Yeah. I'm passionate about it, yeah. But that I doesn't mean I can't go without it, because I did. Would you be able to delete all of your stuff? Yeah. Facebook, Instagram. For how long? Do you want me to literally tell you the story? Tell that's what it's us. Leading no, up it's to. not. It's not a story time. It's just like, can 